Hi everyone, my name is Hao Li, and my goal is to bring 3D human capture technologies uh, from uh, film studios and research labs to everyone. Um, uh, the goal is really to augment our life with really new, exciting technologies, capabilities, and traditionally visual effects, uh, people use uh, performance capture technologies to, um, to bring digital characters to life. And they use mocap uh, data and really uncomfortable mocap suits um, that actors have to wear to capture the body performances and the facial performances. So, um, what if someday we can get rid of these markers and capture things directly, where the actor can just freely perform and we can capture everything at unprecedented details and in everyday environments? Um, the biggest issue here is that from a computer vision standpoint, this is a very difficult problem, and um, it's, it's just really very difficult to solve. So I was asking myself what would be the right um, capture technology to solve this problem. So. Um, here, here we go. Um, with the emergence of real-time 3D scanners, we can capture extremely highly detailed geometries very accurately, and um, uh, potentially we can turn um, very difficult recognition and tracking problems into very efficient geometry processing algorithms. So the core problem here is to find correspondences. So these are the input data. And the input data basically have zero meaning to the computer, and they're like highly incomplete. So these are the data that we want to process with. So the solution that we came up with is a non-rigid registration algorithm that allows you to warp a source shape, an arbitrary 3D shape, onto a target without having a user to specify any correspondences. Finally, in the end, um, what we can do is we can automatically find very dense 3D uh, correspondences and also establish uh, all the full overlapping regions. With these correspondences, we can immediately reconstruct highly detailed facial performances without the use of any animators in the loop or even using markers. So what we want to show you now is that these technologies are not only reserved for film studios, but also for everyone uh, if you use a regular depth sensor, consumer level depth sensor with a Kinect. So let me just show you a real-time uh, demonstration. Can you see? So this is uh, tracking in real time. This is a real time facial animation system that we developed at Industrial Light and Magic. And I can talk through the head of a monkey. All right, let's switch back. All right, so let me just show you two more applications. One is in cardiology. We can use these things to find a connection between um, cardiac surface mechanics and electrophysiology, and we can also improve cancer treatment. My name is Hao Li. I'm an assistant professor at USC. Thank you very much.